going back to East High. We just got picked up for season. <laughs> I cannot wait for the fans to discover season one. I'm so happy. I get to hang out with Sophia for six months. What team? 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 Joe. So Call I Joe. bet you're probably watching this and you're shooting season two right now. Please. And I wonder how it is. Is it fun? Is it good? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, this is good. This is good. This is good. Don't answer. Can I say hi? Wait, wait. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna say we have some important news. Oh, oh. oh Joey! Yo! <laughs> Pan out. Hey Joe. Okay, Pan out. Um, we have the whole gang here. Joe! Joe. Um, wait, let me turn you wait, up. Wait, I'm here too. Wait, turn it sideways. So Larry's you see here. Everyone. Um, yes, yeah, so, so we just we just wanted to tell you that um we got picked up for season two. <laughs> <laughs> you can't no, tell anyone. No, wait. <laughs> oh, hi, Joe. Yeah. Hi, Joe. Oh, my God. What? Yes, yeah, <laughs> don't, don't tell anyone. Otherwise, Tim will kill us, okay? I will, I will, I will. Okay. Pack your bags, boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you guys are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sweaty. Oh my god. Hey, Joe, okay. Um, we have the whole gang here. Joe! Oh my god. Hey, Joe, um, wait, let me turn you up. Wait, I'm here too. Wait, turn it sideways so you can see everyone. Um, yes, so we just, we just wanted to tell you that um, we got picked up for season two. <laughs> So Sophia one, I completely stopped when they showed Bob Ross's son. I had no clue Bob Ross had a son. Bob Ross has a son. Yes. What is his name? Yeah. Just saying. Um, and I think uh, one of the things that was important to me that I said on day one when I pitched the show to Disney, which was like, it's going to be a docu-style series about a group of kids putting on High School Musical, and I was inspired by Waiting for Guffman and The Office. I wanted to find kids who could really sing live because we don't do lip syncing a lot in the show. We wanted like real voices captured live who, who could really play their real ages. So Olivia is 16 to play 16. And also who I wanna be stuck with in Salt Lake City for six months. Like I needed good people because I come from the theater and I know like the real fun of theaters being backstage in the dressing room. And so Joshua Bassett, the very first audition tape I saw of hundreds of kids was Josh. And the minute I saw that tape, I knew I had a Ricky because of both the charisma and the lack of like sort of Hollywood polish. Um, neat Olivia. <laughs> Wait, that was a compliment. That was a, we'll get that in post. We'll, with a startling Hollywood polish. Um, with, uh, you know, with Olivia, it was the fact that she walked in, no makeup, clearly did not have stage parents. She was there because she just has like a story to tell. 
And uh, when I learned that she is a songwriter later on in the series, I gave her the shot to write a song. Oh. And in three days, she turned around this song that like Regina Spector would want to write. It's so special. And so uh, it's, it's always about trying to identify what makes this person unique. For Sophia Wiley, who had come from this Disney Channel background, has such a following online. So many girls look up to her. I certainly would have as a kid. I would have wanted to dance like you and dress like you, if we're being honest and on the record. Uh, and she came in and had sort of never played a villain before and, and, and starts out as the sort of thorn in the side of Nini and is able to grow over 10 episodes into an arc that I think a lot of people rel relate to, which is that you're always the protagonist of your own life, even when other people think of you as the antagonist. For Matt, it was the fact that he walked in with this kind of um, charm and polish and looking a certain way, but could like land a punchline, a Hollywood polish, Josh, <laughs> you should probably trade that. And then we read, we read Matt Cornett with um, Julia Lester back there, um, and they play cousins in the show, and they had such natural, effervescent family vibes that um, it was sort of like undeniable. We were always gonna hire them. It was also, he's from Arkansas, and one time in his audition, I was like, can you just try EJ with an Arkansas accent? <laughs> and thus EJ forever, Matt wished EJ was Southern. <laughs> yeah, he like he fully no Southern. And then and then for Mark St. Cyr, who was cast out of New York City, we got a tape. We could not find a Mr. Mazzara. He's the STEM teacher who needs to land a bunch of punchlines, super dry. And all of these guys came in who had tons of TV credits who were hilarious but played everything really big. And we wanted to reinvent the Disney brand for Disney Plus and do something that felt really sort of premium and different and streaming and rough around the edges with this shaky docu style. So Mark sent in this video that practically was shot on an iPhone in <laughs> selfie mode. And I was like, he's either a serial killer or he should play Mr. Mazzara. And he played Mr. Mazzara. Um, Kate Reinders and I did Gypsy together. I used to be a dancer. She starred in the 2013, 2003? Yeah. Bernadette Peters' revival of Gypsy as Bernadette Peters' daughter. I was a chorus boy. I was always intimidated by her. And then all these years later, she like literally brought a flute to the audition, not like a weird euphemism. And she, and she auditioned for us and she was this drama teacher who cares so much about theater and has so much to say to the next generation. Frankie Rodriguez came in. The character of Carlos was based on a very dear friend of mine who was the male captain of the color guard in his own school. And you know, when, when I cast Frankie, I, I, I saw in him the fact that everything that got me picked on in middle school gets me paid now. <laughs> and, uh, and that is who Frankie is. And he announced himself as Carlos instantly with Dara Renee, who was a star of Freaky Friday, the, the Disney Channel film. She walked in, she was gonna have three lines in the pilot and then you couldn't stop looking at her. And I believe that Dara is the type of person who little girls across America are gonna say, I haven't seen hair like that on screen. I haven't seen emotion like that on screen from the type a character who I'm used to just being a punchline. For Larry, I was looking very specifically at Larry Saperstein who plays Big Red. I needed uh, somebody who could be a real sidekick type, but who could also emerge as a romantic interest with his own sort of dreams and loves. And Larry, and every guy who came in to read for Big Red was this kind of over the top, like Disney brother. <laughs> and they were all great. And many of them would have been cast in a different type of show. And in our show, he was so under the radar that I knew we needed that authenticity. And we also all felt in the room that if we cast Larry as Joshua Bassett's best friend, it would also make us like Ricky more because Larry is so lovable. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, Julia Lester came in. She's back there. And Julia is a real dyed in the wool theater kid, the type of kid who I would, you would have been like my girlfriend in middle school. <laughs> um, meaning she would have like braided my hair on Saturday nights. And we, um, and she came in and sang a song from The Secret Garden, which is one of my favorite musicals. And then I said, just out of curiosity, do you know anything about by, by Sarah Bareilles? And Julia whipped out this gorgeous rendition of Gravity Aww. acapella in Burbank uh, with no accompaniment. And she announced herself as the type of character who uh, uh, is gonna, everyone's gonna wanna be her best friend. You're gonna wish that that character could read your horoscope because Julia brings so much heart onto the screen. So the casting process was so challenging and also there were no runner ups for any of them. And I so believe in this cast that I lived in New York for 20 years and I moved to LA full time to do this show because I would literally bet everything on the people you're looking at right here. Here we go. Alright guys, here we go. One, two, three, good. Look, beautiful. A few more. Here we go. One, two, good. Good.
couple more. Any other pairing or? Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. 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 Thank you